Today I'm going to show you the wiring of the SMA Sunny Boy 7.0 inverter. The first thing we need to do is cut off the power. The DC disconnect is on the side of the unit. You just need to turn it. Alright, the DC is off. Now we'll go and shut off the AC. Okay, which is, it's going to be inverter 2. Alright, make sure that kill the power. Come back over here, there shouldn't be no lights on. Oh, gotta wait. The capacitors are probably still charged up. Oh, there, it just went off. All right, let's get this panel off. See if I can do this with one hand. All right. Let's pull this off. There's going to be a ribbon connected to that front panel. All we just need to pull that ribbon off, which is right here. Just one connector. Now, we'll get this out of the way. Okay, on the right hand side is going to be your AC. Your red and black is your two hot lines, line one and line two for 220. And your white line is your neutral. Then your ground is gonna to go to your chassis. There's your chassis ground, you can ground it to any one of these connections in here. It doesn't matter as long as you ground to the chassis. Then on your left hand side is all your DC connections. I'm running three strings of solar panels. That's why I got so many in here. A, B, and C, those are my three strings. Red is positive, black is negative. A plus, A minus is my first strand. B plus, B minus is my second. C plus, and C minus is my third string. Just make sure you don't cross up your strings so you don't have any shorts. Just put in one string at a time. Like I said, black red can't go wrong positive negative all right and let me go ahead and put this panel back on that's all there is for wiring of a sma inverter they're really simple whoops there we go. That's all there is in that one ribbon cable. Look up the front panel. All right. This is really hard to do with one hand. Okay, let's see if I can get these here to line up. And don't over tighten them. You don't want to strip it out. I usually only go one click. Probably better yet if you do it by hand instead of a power tool. Okay, now turn your DC back on. 
right, there's that line going straight up and down. That's the DC on. And you see the panel starting to light up. I'm going to turn the AC on. So the inverter can go through all the self checks. All right. Okay, it's going through all this checks now. It'll probably take about a minute. I can hear it clicking through the relays. I don't know if it's going to rain here or what, but it's sure awful uh, overcast today. Should finish here in a second. There we go, we're getting close now. All right, the blue light, that's letting me know it's talking to my router inside the house. Then we should have the green light here in a second. Showing that it's converting the DC to AC. There we go. That's what you want to see, that slow blinking green light. All right. And this here, you tap on these here, and you tap on them to get to a different screen. I don't know why they designed it that way. IP addresses. Okay, there's my uh, DC for uh, strand A and strand B and there's my strand C there's my AC which is 244 which is really just 220 and even with no sun right now I'm still getting over a thousand watts which is surprising Anyway, now you see how easy the wiring is in an SMA inverter. It's really simple. Just follow the directions that come with the inverter and you can't go wrong. Thank you.